Alright, welcome back. We are here with uh, another episode of gaming. You know, shocker covered weirdly enough. Um, don't worry, we have a uh, we'll have a video game update of the latest patches, hot fixes, updates, all that coming out before or after this episode. I don't know. I haven't recorded it yet. I will record it tomorrow. As of this report, I will record it tomorrow. Oh, tonight we are going to be talking about the evolution of multiplayer, going from sitting on the couch and sharing one singular TV screen to land parties to online multiplayer. And as always, we got the, the short king himself, Robble, with us. Short king. <laughs> It's like a gnome king or something weirdo. I had another word, but oops, not appropriate. I'll yeah, be the judge, but I just say it. We'll see. No, I'm good. No. Don't you, are very, say you are a very bad judge of character. Let's start off with the biggest. Obviously, let's, look, let's at, start, look at our podcast. Let's, dynamics, let's, just, of course. let's just start off with you join the army. That wasn't a judge of character. That was just bad decision making altogether. Mm -hmm. There's no character of the army you can really you can really you, judge. You, you talk to somebody and you believe the shit they sold you. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, a twenty thousand dollars sign on bonus. All right, sign me up. Twenty thousand. I mean, it would have been nice. I got ten. I got none. So I'm I got fucking 10. here. I got ten and then a fifteen. Twenty-five. Thanks for what I got. Sorry, I'm going to cut you by five. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, so I got, yeah, I got a total of 25. Well, taxes and everything, so I got like five. <laughs> Not 5000 Five dollars. Five dollars. Then I had to pay that five dollars back plus a couple extra thousand. Because I said I lost equipment. That and, you know, divorce. Somebody else had the money. You don't have it. Bunch of assholes. <laughs> very, much, very much so onward was and we kind of talked about this sort of you weren't too big into gaming childhood years right um like co-op wise our co-op gaming just, just, just in general of, yeah i was i mean i was i wasn't like hardcore my parents kind of limited that. They they really didn't want let me play a whole lot. It was get out of the house, get away from me type thing. Um, Are the street lights on? No, get the fuck out of the house. Yeah, that was that was my parents. So, I mean, we would get we get to play. I mean, I had a Nintendo. I had almost every console. I, I had a console growing up. Not every console, but I went and I progressed as the new ones came out. You know, I had Nintendo. I don't think I ever never had it. Uh, Super Nintendo, but you know, I kind of went as, went with it as it went. But I never had like a a hardcore gaming fetish because I, I wasn't allowed to. Oh yeah, it's a fetish. <laughs> that's not. It's a fetish. A, that's not called this a fetish. Okay, that's exactly what it is. No, it's a fetish. Whole, that's a whole different episode. But no, it's I wasn't allowed to. But so that may have driven me to play more when I could. Um, but no, it was more or less whenever we get together. We would play more like a sleepovers and things like that. That's when we had a lot more. But I, I never wasn't the type to bring my TV with me. Apparently, that was a big thing for people to take their TVs to other people's houses. That but was, I never saw that, that. That was the N64 era. Like when that console came out, that's when uh, LAN parties were really big. And we'll get into that shortly because that's the evolution stage. Uh, originally, when you played, it was, if you and I wanted to play Mario Brothers, we'd sit down, two controllers, logged in, yeah, and you would, uh, you'd play Mario, and then I would get a turn as Luigi. Because let's be real, the older person always was player one, Mario, or the or the host. Nope. Nope, because somebody's mom said otherwise. Not my mom. We, we weren't allowed to play video games in the house until, like, middle school years for me. So. But, 
We had you would have to sit on a on a couch or the floor to pan upon how far away your TV was from the couch. Uh, because those controllers were what, maybe three feet in length? And I feel like that's being generous. I don't remember them being very long controllers. No, I I mean I feel like the Nintendo had the longest cord out of them. But I'm not sure. Because I feel like I would wrap that cord around that rectangle controller for days trying to get it. See, I'm thinking but I, I don't it a few uh, times. Remember. Like two or three times, honestly. Mm. Regardless, you'd sit on the couch or the ground and you would play that. And then, of course, I would say, I think it's probably safe to say, correct me if I'm wrong, you're older, you've been around a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't much of like co op co op multiplayer games in the terms of like Nintendo, Super Nintendo era. That kind of came about with the birth of uh, the N64, where you had Smash Brothers, you had uh, you had Mario Kart on the Nintendos, but you had games like Smash Brothers and GoldenEye and Halo, oh, not Halo, that's Xbox, and uh, Perfect Dark, the real, that's the game I'm saying, where you had to shoot up other people or battle people, and I, I distinctly remember plugging into like an N64 with buddies and the quadrant screens popping up, playing with somebody and just being called a screen cheater because you're, you know, you're looking at their screen. And, and you're, you're talking more about competitive, like head-to-head -head style, not, not actual co-op, like yes Double and no. Dragon and is it, that's where like you were actually both yeah. on the same screen and had to wait for the asshole to want to stay in the back because you couldn't progress forward until they wanted to move forward. Battle they wanted to get Yep. TMNT, Power Rangers, Lion Donkey Kong Kinder, Country. Uh, Don oh, Donkey I mean, Kong was the worst. Because you'd have fucking Diddy. Whoever would be Diddy, you'd go down the, the caves in the rail mm -hmm. park. But that fucker jumped yep. out. And you're like, oh, great. I'm stuck here. Awesome. You ask that. Yep. Fuck it. Die. Jump down and die. Just die. We need to move on. Yes. But no, like, yeah, I think it, and you were at 64 was when they started really doing it. And our big one was Goldeneye. I mean, we, obviously, we had back and forth when it came to Madden on Sega, bases loaded on Nintendo. You know, obviously, the sports games were back and forth, but it was not to the point to where you had to have essentially your own screen or high, you know, split screen because you're going against somebody in that manner. It's not the same field. But yeah, like 007 was, that's one I'll probably talk more about just because of how, how chaotic it got. And I'm putting chaotic as a light word, which throw down death matches um, and threatening of lives happened. Well, Relationships like, ended. <laughs> that was like the first game I can remember with, uh, we'll use terms that's used very heavily now, that had like meta players, broken players, nerf players type situation where you mm -hmm. know, if you were odd job, uh, yeah, odd job's a short one. You would yep. you would have a shorter and smaller box to hit. So yeah, your you hitbox top is bar. You could pop around a corner and start shooting, and most people would aim for where the chest would be, and that's still above your head. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you had the really tall fucker whose name I'm... I, I can't think of who it was. Yeah, I can't think of him either. I can see him. He's wearing this stupid fucking hat. Anyways... He was the exact opposite. His hitbox was larger because you literally kill him anywhere by shooting him. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was kind of one, and of course the golden gun, being the ultimate meta at the time, one shot kill. Mm -hmm. And whoever had it, no matter what, whoever had the golden gun, everyone, it's kind of like an unspoken rule, everyone would just instantly turn against that one guy, that one person, and just go and kill him. So where the golden gun would drop, and it's just like, chaos from hell of shit he's dead or she's dead go pick it up really quick and you run around trying to kill the people but, uh, yeah. yeah and you had different chaos. game modes you had just knives grenades you know snipers you had all those different game modes built into Paintball it and then mode. obviously you can make up your yeah Paintball you mode. can make up your own as well whenever you had that uh, the ability to change things up 
you know, you make your own stuff. We we had to where you couldn't pick up the golden gun, or one person had the golden gun, everybody else had knives, and you essentially were just trying to kill the person with the golden gun. Yeah, I think so. It's just making up your own stuff. But again, that's that's us getting it like sleepover style, staying trying to stay up until two or three in the morning, making up these stupid games to try and try and keep going. To prove that we could do it. Yeah, I just remember. I remember playing games like. And we're gonna back we're gonna bounce back and forth like between land party style with the split screen competitive side of the house and the um screen scrolling gameplay. But like I, I remember playing Golden Axe on Sega and of course you could it's all side scroller. I just remember so many people or so many times my younger brother or a friend would come over that we'd be like and like, okay, let's go. I just want to like blast through the whole fucking level. I know like the shortcuts, the hidden routes and everything. And they just like dilly dally. It's like fucking move. You can't, you couldn't progress. You, it really had what was ever shown on the screen. That was, that was your area. You couldn't mm-hmm. go forward. And then you had games like, uh, X-Men, Spider-Man and, Maybe not team to team. Uh, but X-Men, Spider-Man, for sure, and Battletoads, your character could go off-screen, but they were just basically slightly off-screen. And you could still be attacked by the enemies. And your second player would have to, like, scooch close enough to make the screen scroll. But if you died, they couldn't, like, help you at all. I just remember Yeah, that was the same thing with, like, Double Dragon was the same way if you got yeah. too close, far to far right, you can get attacked by the next... The next phase coming up, and if your partner screwed you over, like a lot of times they did, that's where you were stuck. But again, like having these the different style of games that they had that have progressed into these, and then becoming of, you know, going from sixty four to what the next one been what GameCube. Yep. And which I didn't play GameCube. I never got into. I never got into GameCube. I thought it was. I hated the controller. PlayStation is where I went after that. That is one. Of I hated. The, I hated that controller. I I think it's still rated. I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it was rated the number one worst controller of all time. I hated it. I didn't like I, it at all. Sixty four was close behind it too because the C buttons, C stick, specifically. Yeah, and it's. I, I didn't mind it, but I also thought GameCube had some awesome fucking games on it. Once PlayStation came out, that's where that's where we all went to, and then Xbox came out. But PlayStation was the big one that we had. Obviously, you know, Sega was in there as well, but that was I was that was that was before sixty four. That was thirty two bit. Yeah. But PlayStation was there, and then I don't remember what we played on PlayStation. It was anywhere near. I think SoCom was the only thing, and that wasn't even with other people. That was with you know the headset, and that's who you were worked on tactical. I don't even remember there being anything LAN related on PlayStation. Um, yeah, no, there was. I'm sure there was. I don't know what it was. Because back then, I think the only thing I ever played LAN or what would have been over the internet was Need for Speed on. That was on computer. That's the first time I ever did anything on there. Well, you had Need for Speed, you had Burnout, but both of those were more. This is before PlayStation and all that. Yeah, well, Need for Speed and Burnout was on PlayStation. The, uh... But it wasn't traditional. No, but the, was... style that, the style that I played. Oh, gotcha. I was like, it wasn't... It wasn't in the sense of, like... You could race on Need for Speed and Burnout, but you did it uh, one at a time. Mm-hmm. I was looking up something, because it was bugging me. Yeah, this style we played on on there was uh, it was head to head on the Need for Speed, and I think it was like one of the first Need for Speed. Yeah. Um, because we had that was your dial up internet, your your AOL when we were trying to do it. I I so can it honestly say I old. never. I had to rethink this before I actually talk nonsense. <laughs> I've never played a online console game on dial-up. I do remember still having dial-up uh, 
and I had this argument with somebody actually the other day when I was playing World of Warcraft. I was World of Warcraft now for 20 years now. There was still dial up in 2004. And I remember having dial up in our little podunk town and being so pissed off when I'd be in the middle of like a grind or whatever, and then here comes my mom, click, picks up the phone, and service has been completely disconnected to the computers. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that made it worse was the fact that I was tuned in, so I had like, I had my headphones on, and I have had a Windows Media Player playing with the cool little either sheep animation graphics or the uh, equalizer going on that was very much an acid trip like design and i i just remember playing it and then of course being disconnected and being so pissed off Fuck. but it's interesting to like have because we live basically through the whole fucking evolution of all this the, almost all the games mm -hmm. to begin with uh you have me beat by about 10 years but yeah and it was it wasn't a jab. It was just statistical analysis reconfirmed. It's still, it's still a jab. <laughs> but, like, it's interesting because I've, I've even talked with my daughter about this when we are playing, like, the Nintendo Switch. And I go into the Super Nintendo store and I'm playing Super Mario Brothers. I'm like, all right, let's play. And she's like, well, why can't I play it? Well, you got wait. You're Luigi. You go second. And she couldn't, she couldn't grasp why she had to wait why we couldn't play side by side but then the other mario games we could play side by side the whole time yeah she yeah she That's definitely bullshit. that was me where i was like all right come on we need to go this way okay and she just kind of like dicking around on the left side of the screen mm -hmm. like, we need to go forward let's go forward i think it was super mario u mario u Maybe, I don't know. One of the more recent games in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Bowser's World, that's what it was. And we were, we just had to kind of play along. And there'd be points where somebody has to like climb the fishnet. And get to the other side to trigger a button. It's where the other person can go. I'd always do the more difficult ones. And I'd trigger it. My daughter would be like, can I go? Yeah, go. And it's a time button type thing. So she had, you can hear the sound. Do, do, do. Do 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 do, and just kind of silence. <laughs> and she died. I'd be like, oh. "Okay, let's do it again." Dies another time. Mm -hmm. Another time. And then I was like, "All right, I'm gonna get to the other side, and you're gonna give me your controller. I'm gonna run. You can run. Push the down button. You can run. I push it, but he just stops. Sorry. Push and hold the down button." Sprint. But she's asked before, like, is this what you used to do with your brothers growing up? It's like, no. no. I was never allowed to play the Super Nintendo. I wasn't old enough, or it wasn't mine, or, you know, your uncle had to play with it. Oh, why didn't you just take it from them? That's not something that happened. You tried it, you typically got the shit beat out of you. <laughs> oh, well, you should have told Grandma and Grandpa. And they would have said, don't take shit from your brother and sister. Yeah. It's, it's not the same world, I promise you, child. It's a drastically different world. And you would have not survived. Yeah. Just saying. But it's, no. it, it's interesting to, I think, reflect would be the best word to use. On like these older games that we used to play, it's just like wow. There was a lot of single player games. There was a few multiplayer games. You had fighting games like Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Street Fighter, where it was just pure butt smashing, and that's what everyone would do, unless you mm -hmm. played like uh, Sub Zero, Scorpion, or Ryu, or Ken. You know, base characters where. Every had everybody had pretty much the same special combo um input. You could just spam those three buttons. Mm -hmm. Down back A, down back B, down back X, whatever it was. You could freeze them, you can pull them over, you can 
I do get them, you can uppercut them, whatever. And just say, you're 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 cheating, you're just button mashing. Be faster, bitch. That's all I'm doing. Because <laughs> I that, I think that's the first like, Super Nintendo. It's the first one I can think about, like legit multi multiplayer. But that's more just like butt smashing. Yeah, because I think after 64, got into PlayStation, PlayStation was really just me playing it. I would take games back and forth. I think that was all I really got into at that point was wrestling because that's when they started to do the interest music. And you'd, we'd see that, they'd have interests, but that was only, that's always we bought that, that game was for that one. We never played it. The playstyle sucked. We just wanted the, we just wanted the interests. That's all we got it for. So we wasted, I think at the time, it was like 50 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks at the time for that one, and never did any after that. Well, we'll have to do a whole episode about rating, ranking the best video games, like WWE video games. Uh, because since you never played GameCube, you probably wouldn't know about it or never played it, but the WrestleMania-themed games, they'd be like WrestleMania 18 or WM18, and they came out on GameCube only. Those were some of the the most fun games I've I played like inside of the wrestling uh, atmosphere realm there we go because not only would you you could wrestle in the ring and wrestle backstage but then there would be uh, like you would have to roam the backstage corridors and you could just fight random wrestlers and it was kind of like a quest I think like uh, Zelda but wrestling mm-hmm. So you take your character, you just roll backstage, and there'd be like Kane, and he'd be like, You can't get past here unless you beat me. Like, all right, bring it. And you could fight on the corridors, you could fight on top of the Titantron. There was one time where there was a map, it was on a ship with like a lot of uh, fencing you could scale up and down and platforms, you could toss people off platforms all the way up top and you just had to get their health down to a zero to progress on and it was it was really fun i truly enjoyed it i'm waiting for the gamecube emulator to be fully up and running on the nintendo switch and to bring those games back uh if they do i don't think they will because they have to get uh i guess tko's permission now to publish old games but they were just so much fun and it, like they haven't done anything like that since at all. And it really should for WWE or even AEW or TNAs create a game where you kind of get rogue. Mm-hmm. Super cheesy, but it's a lot more fun than my faction fucking playing cards. <laughs> no, I think I took a big... I have had a big gap from middle school because I didn't do... I hardly played anything in high school. I would randomly play a little bit, but not as much. Again, I don't even remember playing anything in high school. You were a teenager. You had hormones. I was never home. I, say I was home. either working or so partying. Nice. And I just said I was never home. I was either partying or working. You were working so, till forth to go partying. Yeah, I, mean, I would go to school at some point too. In there, but yeah, I didn't play. You don't. You don't I, have don't I know the real reason why you went to the army. So you don't need a GED at the time you join. It's been a few decades. It's okay. Oh, I, grad- I graduated high school just fine. I didn't just fine? GED. Really? Just yeah. fine? I passed. That's all I was worried about. I knew I wasn't going to college. <laughs> My plan was to I was at some point. <laughs> so yeah, no. But no, I took, I took a break there, so I didn't really do anything. And it wasn't until... Yeah, I was older. And I bought the PlayStation 2. I think I had that. When did that come out? I've had all the PlayStations. Same. Well, except for the 5. I've had all the Xboxes too, except for the X slash S. Yeah, that was... Oh, it's like I said, yeah, I had one. 2000. I even had the PSP and the PSV, though. I had the PSP. That's all I 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I had the, I had the PlayStation Two. It was in that was in two thousand. So, and I think all I got that was when I I was playing wrestling games at that point. I wasn't even looking at anything um, online or I don't see anything I knew of of online gaming at that point. It wasn't until PlayStation Three. I want to say because at that point I think I was looking at that's for like. Oh, the good old days when it was free. Yeah. And yeah, that's when the one thing I... To play online, you need yeah. membership. So that's why... And I, I did play Call of Duty at that point. I did play multiplayer. I remember, I think it was... I think it was PS3 when it started. See, I remember PS2 PS6. for God of War. I remember Need for Speed Burnout. Uh, Metal Gear Solid on PS1 and 2. And three, and four, uh, Call of Duty and all that. But like, I don't know. It's I don't think I did a lot of online gaming, with the exception of World of Warcraft in two thousand four. And that was like, I wouldn't say my it was introduction, but I wouldn't say like that was the end all be all. But I don't remember PlayStation Two having that capability, or if it did, it wasn't like a bunch of games. That's what I'm trying to. I can't remember if it did or I not. Know, I know it had a Ethernet port in the back. Mm. I just i I can't think of any games that were online except for maybe Call of Duty. Because you had like PlayStation One and Two. You had uh, Medal of Honor was the big games. Because Call of Duty hit Xbox in like two thousand four, I believe it was. Because the first game was 2003, and it was a year later. Yeah, it came out on Xbox. So, so yeah, I mean, it looks like 2013, which doesn't seem right. That seems way late. 11 years ago, it came to that. That can't be right. No, that wouldn't be right. That's because we were playing. We were playing online way before. Iraq. And that was 2007, 2006. I was playing online back in 08 and 09. When I was overseas. Yeah. And I don't mean deployed everyone. I mean, like, station. So it looks like possibly 2003 might have been the first with Activision. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, okay, Treyarch. Any word. That's... Yeah, by Infinity Ward. Yep. Like, I know Infinity Ward did the first one. And Treyarch. Yeah. So that's what it looks like around 2003 time frame. So I, w- I mean, I wasn't playing then if I wasn't until right before I went to military. Like, well, I was on my own at that point. Yeah. Was like, I, I, you just went and got a CD, you put it in the at that, that point. Probably could afford it a lot better than you could now if you needed to. Oh um, shit. Not how I was getting paid. Mm. Oh, like, how's the death? How's the market crash? Uh but no. I I remember like distinctly that World of Warcraft was the biggest online multiplayer game I could think of right now. Even back then. If you were playing it, you were like you were a nerd, you were a geek, you were a goob or whatever because you're playing WoW. And mm. this was before they called it WoW Vanilla. It's just World of Warcraft. Um, I guess you could play Battle Chess online too in StarCraft. Yeah, World of Warcraft was the first big, like, holy shit type moment. Because you could connect with people all over the world. And you could do dungeons and raids and all that stuff. It was just fucking weird. We could do that. You could do all that back in the 1900s. So... <laughs> not over the internet you could <laughs> that was called you survival <laughs> you could play you could play starcraft and command and conquer and everything online in the 90s man conquer was such a good one it was renegade was weird <laughs> i don't know if you remember that one that's the first time they went to like the first person slash third person perspective no 
That one I never did because I was I just got into Command and Conquer and then StarCraft. After that, it's so weird you skipped over Warcraft. Because that's typically the progression was Warcraft, Command and Conquer, StarCraft. You just went fuck Warcraft, and you somehow became addicted to World of Warcraft later on in life. So maybe if you would that was just because the yeah it was just a, the, I'd never seen it before and that was in that would have been in like 2003 2003 2004 time World so that was that's when they started 20 years ago yeah so that's when well whatever it was so it would have been playing that one and yeah I, I got sucked into that and I had to stop playing stop going next door was it a <laughs> <laughs> we a duplex at that point. Yeah, we did a duplex, so we all we all had that, so we just we just walk through. Side and note, go, and yeah. Side note, because uh, I tell you this, I've been telling you this for a few weeks now, trying to get you to fucking touch your computer, but and get WoW on it. I can touch it. But I was like, I was playing World of Warcraft the other day. I was like, oh, I finished all my uh, um, allied races. Awesome, great. I have everybody I need. I I get early access on the 22nd. I'll just beef up all my characters. I have like five or six of them at level 70. Super excited. And I was playing the other day live stream and I was just bullshitting. <laughs> I said something. I think I was like bashing on you saying, yeah, if Robo just fucking hopped on here and play World of Warcraft with me, it'd be so much fun because then I could like, we could run around and just cause chaos and mischief and be assholes for everybody and just, you know, have a good time. And then I just remember saying something about but he can't because he has addictive personality towards World of Warcraft, so he can't play it. I don't think it's addicting. And then it dawned on me. I was like, I have played World of Warcraft every day that week for like two or three hours. <laughs> See? I'm telling you it is. It's very addicting. And but, dangerous. But it's the problem. It's, like, it's not a problem. It's the thing of like, I, it's a problem. I hit a cap. The same with like video games in general, even with uh, Call of Duty. I will hit like a mental cap. So to speak, where I'm like, okay, done. <laughs> Just like walk away. World of Warcraft, I get to that point really easy. Especially right now that they have, they introduce a feature called War Bands, where basically if you complete quest A, B, C, and D on one character, any other character you create afterwards technically doesn't have to do quest A, B, C, or D. Because it says, this has already been completed. So now I'm going through all these quests to go, what haven't I done? There's a website I found that you can just type in your, your username, what round they're on, and it tells you all the quests, whether or not it's story slash campaign or side quests. And I was like, oh. So I'm playing that this week, doing all the stories that I may have missed. So I took a four year, four or five year hiatus. So. No, I, and I very well could, because I get the, I get capped out at, at it too. And maybe I would hit that, but I don't want to, I don't, I don't think I want to see if I will. I'll get 10 or 12 hours into it. Oh, I have lost my family and everything else. Oh, I think I've, I've hit my cap. It's time for bed. It's called, oh, it's called I homelessness. Guess, I guess I'll go upstairs. Why the fuck are you awake? It's time for school, Dad. Oh, shit. No, I think and then we progressed into Halo when we were deployed. And once Halo... Halo that's the last time I played Halo because I hated it after That's all we played. And I realized I hate how much I hated Halo. And I, it's only played just because it was it was there. Because we didn't have Call of Duty really set up because everybody else had Xboxes. So we had we had Halo that we played, and that was land style. So we had multiple different TVs strung strung between different different huts. And so you'd see nothing but you know cat cable running between all these all these huts and everything else. We had all our TVs set up for it, playing that way, but um that was that was that one my introduction to halo that way in iraq i mean i played it before but never really land style i didn't really know anything about it yeah because none of my friends would ever play games and is it because that was that and then friends? well that too but <laughs> once we got into the point of online gaming when i got back i was like oh okay well because I, I didn't ever want to either one play with people and two i didn't want to have to get my ass kicked i'm fine with it now but then i was like i don't want to know how bad i am at the game i want to just play it 
there, there's a call it a caveat if you will there's a huge difference of getting your ass kicked in a game in person side by side by a buddy or a family member and getting your ass kicked online hundreds of miles apart and you're like whatever fine cool you're a fucking cheater but cool 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 you can't do that if they're sitting next to you but at the same time the closest you got to cheating uh doing land or split screen was like just going yeah screen picking so yeah but on, then at times too as like i said our internet i don't even think our internet would be able to really do anything back then but and i didn't have barely handle wow i couldn't do i don't think i really paid for internet until well, i started making decent money enough to do that once i would keep the lights on <laughs> then i worried about internet so, yeah i went a long time without internet and like I miss the days of no internet and anything else. That's stuff that I that I want back. Um, but yeah, then I realized once I got in, once I was able to do online gaming and things like that. I think I was married at the time, and I found my excuse to go away. Was that? That's why I started. Uh, it was called. It was multiplayer in Call of Duty. When I th- I was getting owned, because I really had no idea how to play or anything else and then so I think I got my ass kicked enough to where I stopped playing it. I didn't care enough to really even get into it. And I would play it again once once I have Afghanistan, but that was just land parties at that point, but it was all online technically. Yeah. Over your split screened. I mean it's I s I will still stand by it. I'd much rather get my ass kicked over the internet than by somebody next to me. Maybe not over in Iraq because you all are not the greatest. But no. I think you hated Halo because you're like, this is not like real life. We could play Call of Duty. Oh, yeah, I just did yeah. this the other day. I was just in this sector. Well, that's when we had. Um, you were. It was based in World War II and World War I. Now, when we were in Afghanistan, um, I think it was Medal of Honor had just came out and they were in Gardez. And that's just, it was just the south of where we were at. One? Yeah. Okay, that so one it just came out. around for a while before that. But that was, uh, it was one of the last ones that came out. There was Medal of Honor. There were two that came out. And they were fucking awesome. But yeah, you were in Gardez, Afghanistan. It was, and that's where we were, we were stationed just north of that area. Yeah, so I was like, oh, cool. That would have had to been the controversial one that got released and a lot of military establishments weren't up selling the game after like a month because they were using the word like terrorist taliban mm. uh shiite and sunnis in it and they're like no 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 because you're able to play as these characters too and it wasn't great yeah so, but mel has been around for, for a long time like that's ps1 ps2 era mm-hmm. it was the because those were awesome i would say there's stories. a gap between yeah I thought there was a gap between when that one came out and the one before that was released. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. They, it, I believe it was like PS3 when it first came out. They, the console came out and then they just didn't release another one for such a long time until the controversial one. And that was the end of PS3. Or not the end, but near the end of its life cycle. Because that would have been the first game that came out on Halo uh, Xbox. First Medal of Honor that came out on Xbox. So that was a big difference. If you could play Medal of Honor on PlayStation, or you could play Call of Duty. Yeah. And then the console wars. Okay, cuz. Yeah, it would have been... You... Yeah, it was on 3. You want to talk about a crazy game. Do you remember Mag in AG? Yes. I never played it by reference. First game to ever allow at least 128 players to play at the exact same time on the exact same map. Because I didn't know. It was fucking crazy. 
That sounds like pure chaos. It wasn't like don't think Battle Royale. It was literally like team deathmatch. And you had just a huge ass fucking map. Come out on PlayStation 3. I remember that game was so awesome and amazing, but the server support was shit. So once you were in the game, you could keep playing, but getting in the game was a bitch to do. But that was just chaos is even the right term. Like the amount of times you would just randomly die and they didn't have kill cam, so you'd be like, what the fuck? He's got a kill again. Spawn back at base and back at base. So you had your base camp on the end of each map. Mm-hmm. And then you had maybe probably like 20, 30 meters in game that was the safe zone. And you couldn't shoot into it. You couldn't shoot out of it. So it was legit safe zone. But you, the moment you breach that barrier, people would just fucking not spawn camp, but they'd pick you off with a sniper from all the way across the map. Each map had a tower on each side you could just climb up. That's what got me into camping. <laughs> I used to be a running gunner. And then Mag came out. I was like, oh. I'm about to fuck your days up. Watch this. Nope. Tell them all you guys do that. Not at all. So now I with the progression of everything. Again, I had another long ass break after. So it be after Afghanistan, I had a, I just Call of Duty, and then I took a longer break after that, and that wasn't until Fortnite came out, and I found how dumb that, that one was, and I, then I came across Apex. So from PlayStation 3 to so you came Apex, across which I played in 4, Apex. Mm-hmm. I was playing that, and then I, then I found out that there was a war zone, and I shit-canned Apex really quick. So I was in Apex, I was like, oh, this is, this is cool, this is fun. Yeah, I enjoy it. Oh, Warzone? Okay, Apex is stupid, I cannot stand it. I no longer like it. I remember you gained a Warzone. And that's weird, I can kind of remember that. So that's about the time the community we were part of mm-hmm. came about. Or it was already about, I think, but that's when a lot of shit took place. Yeah. And yeah, I remember, I played Warzone. When it first came out, I played Warzone a lot actually, and then I think somebody wanted me to play Apex and converted me over to Apex. I just remember that at the same time, like we should play Call of Duty or we should play Warzone together. If you have time, just let me know. I'll hop on. We weren't really chatting. That was the extent. I'd be like, yeah, no, it's fine. And a few times yeah. we did play. I use fucking in-game voice chat. Ugh. I still have the clip too. I still have the whole fucking video. All I have to do is go on my YouTube. I have it. I can prove all of it. You can hear how, can how annoyed I am. Because he's cutting out. And I can't fucking hear you. Because what? Because it Wars of Wars came out in like March of 2020, which is like dead middle of COVID. So I think I was I was right there. At, like a month or two after that, I think I started playing. March. We didn't start playing like twenty ones when we started playing, wasn't it? Or did we start in twenty twenty? Twenty twenty. End of it. Was it twenty twenty? Okay. Near the end of it. I was part or I was affiliated with Twitch. I was almost partnered with Twitch. And they changed a bunch of their TOS and all that lovely shit. And basically, yeah, every I had, video I put up got taken down. Yeah, because that's 2020, obviously, when everybody else, when I started streaming. Not you, me. Um, and I've been streaming for a that's long time. <laughs> yeah, that's when I had started to get back into gaming and everything else, and I started to get a headset and everything else where I could actually talk to people. And, yeah, because I was streaming straight from my PlayStation at that point, just using the, the internal... The internal stream to Twitch and trying that. Which is still yeah, so crazy it's like that way. It's still there. Did they bring it back? Because the end it's of It's on the on the PS5 is still there. Right, on the you can last like two years of PS4 they took it away. Oh they very yeah, they very well cut up. 
Yeah, the, you can do it from the PS5. You can stream straight from that. They went from Twitch to you could stream to YouTube, and then they something happened, and they could stream to Facebook. And last mm -hmm. two years out of the cycle of PlayStation Four, you couldn't stream anywhere. I remember a lot of people being very pissed off about it. Oh yeah, yeah, they're very well cut up. I was one of them. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, they gave me a computer. <laughs> It was it was so so weird starting that and doing Warzone, but yeah, that's when that's when I got back into gaming and I started doing that and yeah, whole different world from starting off doing like you know Double Dragon things like that, going from GoldenEye and now at Warzone and whatever else, hell else we're gonna evolve into our. Everybody else will evolve into. I'll stay at Warzone. <laughs> it's like you make it sound like you're going to evolve to another game. <laughs> you usually wait for yeah, Warzone three to come out. <laughs> I'll be there. You're going to be like, oh look, I have this new game I found. You're going to send me a clip like, oh this looks really cool. Coming soon, Warzone three. Fuck you, Rumble. <laughs> it's not a new game. Have you seen this shit? <laughs> you go to war in a zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i think if it, if it wasn't honestly if it wasn't for fortnite and apex i probably wouldn't have got back into gaming and i probably wouldn't even have known about warzone until later on so yes as much as i shit on that game if it wasn't for that game i probably wouldn't have got back into gaming at all say you shit on the game is a i hate thing. apex huge fun. i hate that game well don't worry uh, most of the community hates it right now because or they're they don't hate it anymore they were shitty on it for about a month and a half because EA decided we're going to change up a battle pass. You can't use your Apex coins. Oh, by the way, there's only 60 levels in the battle pass and there's two battle passes per season and each one's going to be $30 for the base battle pass. That's ridiculous. Oh, the best part of all of it is internet bullying worked. <laughs> you can now purchase the battle pass. There's still two. And now you can purchase it using Apex coins for the base tier, and then you have tier one, which is like, uh, I think it's like $10, and then you have tier two, which is like 15 or 20, and you have tier three, which is $30. Um, still only 60 levels. I think it's like 60 days for battle pass, maybe 90. It's a short window, but people are pissed off. They're happy they can use Apex points now, but again, they're pissed off. Which you could have found out if you listen to the weekly updates. That I release over on YouTube <laughs> or here because I'm doing it here now too. So. so I'll be honest, I don't know about you, but there's no other real game that I'm looking forward to, and I don't even know what would pull me away <laughs> from Warzone. What did you War. just have an aneurysm and say? War Within. I am I'm fucking ecstatic for that game. What is that one? Warcraft. It's a DLC. Oh, okay. So yeah, no. <laughs> See, I don't have anything that I'm like. Um, what's the new one? Day Force. Night Delta that the new Force. One set? Delta Force. Day that Force. one, like, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, well, I'm looking at that. I'm like, meet Vampire Diaries. Meet like, Twilight. Know, sorry. It's like a laid back Tarkov. Okay. Cool. It doesn't look not, bad. But, no, it, it doesn't look bad. But I can't. Bad. I can't it get into it. Good, sorry. If I wanted to do it, I just go play DMZ. I mean, it's. Still so salty the same thing. Still so salty they stopped supporting that. That fucking had all the potential in the world. Well, the, the zombies mode is probably next with the new zombies one that's coming out. Uh, so they said Modern Warfare 3 zombies will be supported throughout all of 2025. Oh, we'll see. But to be fair, they also said the same thing about DMZ being supported all of 2024 <laughs> and it got kinks. 2023, so. Sorry, yeah, I don't... they didn't get kinked or canceled technically. They just stopped pushing updates and server maintenance to it. It's just whatever. But I don't I don't have any games that I've looked at, seen, or even thought about that would be able to pull me away from constantly playing Warzone. I, the only thing that I've thought about was that uh, Six Nights in Kandahar. That's one that I've talked about forever. Seven, six, six, nine, seven. six days in Fallujah. Fallujah, that's what it is. Like Canada. Oh, the fucking game you're talking about. 
The only the only thing you got right was the number six. Stays in Kansas. That's not great. I live every day. But like this one is like, oh, when's it coming to PS5? Oh, never. Okay, cool. Yeah. Last thing I saw is I got pushed back again, so I could not yeah, find it's... an ETA on the release date. Yeah, so I I have no idea. Yeah, been waiting for you to get that and... because I snagged that two weeks ago. Snap. Oh, and oh, you just got it. Yeah, I snapped. Well, because it was on sale for like five bucks. Oh, on Steam, and I was like, yes. And I was honestly, I was tempted to text you, be like, hey, if only you had your computer up and running. But I was like, nope, I'm gonna be fucking petty about this. Fuck you. I'm gonna just take the game for myself. Now it says the last half of 2024. Well, I know I was talking about this game. Good news. Two years. How long now? Good news. uh, We are in the last half of 2024. So it's the early part of 2025. It's probably gonna get kicked in. So I've talked about this game, wanted to play this game forever. Have you played it on PC? No, no, yeah. I've, I've, I've been engrossed in either Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft, um, or uh, Mortal Kombat slash WWE 2K24. But yeah, haven't been doing a lot outside of that. I. Don't know, I I have it. It's there. I have Delta Force too, but it's there. That's the big one right now. So I mean, obviously, it's just coming out, but I also have. It doesn't uh, look bad. Once Human, I have uh, the one before Delta Force. That was a big deal. Can't think of it. I have a bunch of games that I've gotten. So the one before Delta Force came out strong and is now fizzled out. Yep. And X Defiance sucked. I can't say it sucked. This, it definitely it it str- no it struggled. It sucked at the beginning. It struggled at the beginning because they didn't have the servers at anywhere near the calibration they needed to be for the amount of people who go to play it. But I was just playing that. Like, I think end of July. And I was like, oh, this isn't bad anymore. It's definitely a whole like. You either play that game or you play Call of Duty. Basically, you let's, can't balance let's be honest. the two of them. We're we're this far into BR style games, five six years strong, with the the uptick being in COVID, with yeah. the big the big surge of, you know, obviously PUBG and everything else, but like Fortnite, even Apex in the beginning, Warzone, you know, those big ones that have pushed up. How can you how can you put a game out and not have the server support that you need? Yeah, Activision. I don't get it. You cannot put the push these games out. Obviously, yes, we know this that internet bullying, everything works, the bullshit works. Cyberpunk said ideal one. Battlefield, you know, RIP for everything that you tried to do and shit shit the bed on that one. Um well, but that just that man, never evolved. That's the problem. Battlefield tough. never Truly evolved with the times. I guess they knew they fucked up. I will, I will die on that hill. They did not evolve at all. But they just sat down because they knew they fucked up. Yeah, and like I'm mad. I'm still so salty about because if there was a, they would have to. Oh, it had to be so fucking epic. But if Medal of Honor were to come out with a BR play in RB, I I so prefer Medal of Honor. Over Call of Duty. I always have. I grew up on Medal of Honor. I love the storylines. I love the campaigns. I love the intricacy of all of it. I just, that's OG for me. Love it. They're hand in hand. I mean, the way that everything was with the gameplay was good for both of them. Well, they got fucked. (laughs) The moment they said, you can play as Taliban, you can play as Twinkies and shit, everybody's like, whoa. Who are you playing against? Well, you're playing against Americans and Brit Force and. Uh, you're like, oh, hold, no, no, you can't play as the bad guys. We kill the good guys. It's a motherfucking game. Call of Duty can get get away with the uh, airport shoot up. Mm-hmm. Well, they got away with that at the time. And then when they re-released that segment again, they're like, oh, we're going to change some things. 
you're not going to be able to do certain things. And there's even like a cut scene that's like, this is what's getting ready to happen. This is very graphic. This is just gameplay. Like there's a whole fucking just your screen gets filled up with words trying to prevent oh, yeah. you from playing the scene. I still played it. You can't stop me yeah. from playing a game I've already played. I'm already traumatized. You can't make it worse. Can't fuck me up more. <laughs> it's not a challenge. Try. It's not a challenge. But you are. I think it try. is. I think the one, the only thing that I, I really want, and I've tried Dead by Daylight, almost had it. I cannot find a horror game like that. I think you said there's one coming out, or if it's one that's coming to PS5. It's coming to PS5. Phasmophobia. That's that one. Okay. But we've also talked about that one, and you have said before, even on episodes of yeah if it ever came i would play it Mm -hmm. because i want i want there to be a horror game that's decent dead by daylight was was okay but like it's it's way too repetitive and the same thing over and over i couldn't get into it you're absolutely right i will also caveat that with the like they're they're changing a lot right now they're getting ready Mm -hmm. to do storylines but neither here nor there that's one of those games like you run with the crew like you have to have like just like Among Us, you and Fall Guy, and I am Fall Guys. Like Among Us, you ran with the crew, and it's more enjoyable, more fun. You get the best uh, fulfillment out of it if you run with the mm-hmm. group of people you know. If you play with yeah. randoms, it's it's the biggest fucking hell mary in the dark. Like it's you're either gonna have a great squad and a shitty monster or shitty killer. You're gonna have a great killer, shitty squad, or Everyone, the the miracle that happens, everyone's good. And you're the shitty player because you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Oh no, this is actually a good group. There you go. Yeah, the, I've tried. The one I think that I really enjoyed was uh, Friday Thirteenth. When that came out, I played that one and I really enjoyed it because it was Jason. I mean, you're running from Jason, you can be Jason. I got into that one and, and it was just fine. But then I played Dead by Daylight. Yes, you can change different characters by the DLCs they have, but I couldn't I couldn't get into it. Friday the thirteenth fucked up too. Like yeah. they had all the potential they fucking shit the bed on that. That's still such an understatement because I had all the fucking like I was excited for it. I played it. I was loving it. Weirdly enough, I like horror games, but I don't like horror movies. I can watch I can play those during the day. I still get scared shitless. Uh but, Predator fucked up too. What? I played that one. I was at Predator. I was excited about that one. Alien. If you can't tell. For some reason, I would be excited about it. That's but, Pikachu. What are you no, talking about? I fucking hate you to ever say that. You shut your whore mouth. Sorry. I sorry. saw that game. Me I got too. overly excited. I wanted it. I wanted it to be so good, and I played it, and it was decent. But man, it was. It was shit. It missed Don't, so no. many, so many points. It's trash. So Still many did. points. Alien that had they promised the world with Alien where you would be running away from them but you can also play as Alien themselves just mm-hmm. shit it's, uh, yeah, these are those are money grab games and we'll have a whole different episode about that but because we've totally got a subject of evolution but it's where we're at and it's it I'm fortunate that those franchise titles could not evolve over the time and do something really cool, do something really good. It's like if you get another AVP, Alien vs. Predator, you could do a Battle Royale. I don't think that's the way to go, but you could do it. It's there. There's a whole, whole freaking lore with aliens and predators and humans, and it makes sense. But there's just like... I. That'll be tough. It would be tough. Would it be awesome if they nailed it? Yeah, we would. Um, but the problem now is like we're we're. I feel like we're at the bubble. Uh, first point this at this time, with games. There are some good games coming out, but for the most part, it's just a clone with some minor altercation, to or alteration to the game itself. Fortnite is just a copy and paste every year. Call of Duty is a literal fucking copy and paste of every year. And yeah. like it's we're not progressing anymore. We're not evolving anymore. The the gaming world is not going further. 
I'm not saying like indie games aren't progressing. I've I have loved a shit ton of indie games. I have them. Like um, why did I just why did I just blank on it? The one you introduced me to with the followers. Um, Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, Cult of the Lamb. Oh, just released a DLC again. Funny as hell. <laughs> that. I haven't touched. Okay, again, losing you losing time in games. That one, I lost many hours in that game, and that also that's that that there. Okay, that proves my point. I can't play World of Warcraft. I lost many hours in that game, and I re- I didn't even notice I did because it's stupid fun but and easily again, addicting. Again, if you only if you only play with me, we can play World of Warcraft. And I'll stop you because. I don't have my addictive personality is not on video games. It can. But I can play Cult of Lamb by myself, and I easily lost yeah many many hours yeah in that game because of how stupid fun it was. Yeah, yeah, that's true. that's very true. And I haven't like, touched that game. I knew that would happen. Oh, you're missing so many DLCs. It's so much fun. Don't do it though, because you're gonna. That's it. <laughs> I will get lost in it again. Like go go take three weeks of vacation. You you maybe <laughs> it. It's so much fun. I love it. And they just it's a great game. It's it's great. I love it. They just announced a a new DLC that's gonna come out, I think, next uh first quarter of next year. So like January, February, March. And it's one of those games like I can definitely play it. I definitely lost time in it. Uh because I was streaming it last year when mm-hmm. you introduced it to me. I was like, Yeah, I'll play it whenever. I remember having to basically go, oh shit, I have to stop playing air with my kid. <laughs> I lost complete track of time. Even with my yes. arms, I lost complete track of time. And that was just like a, one of my more rushed. All right, well, uh, get you on the next episode. Click. <laughs> just like a bolt. It's like, well, yeah, because it's that's how easy it is to lose to lose time in that game because it's that that addicting and it's a very simplistic game. But so much. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play again tomorrow. In between. Well, like your other one, you were big on Sea of Thieves. Have you played that one? Or did that kind of fall off? Sea of Thieves? You sure that's yeah. the one you want to go with? I don't know. I, I you were you were big about it. And you wanted to Skull come out, but I haven't seen you play. Oh, is that what it was? Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones. Um, Never, you know what I meant. Fuck it. I big on that too. And I was such a fucking letdown. I had no issues. With the the fact like you couldn't dock on or you couldn't um, swim in the water, so was, yeah. Because that's <laughs> a lot of people's big issues. Oh, you can't swim in the water. Swim with the sharks. I don't give a fuck. I have yet to read any historical articles that say that pirate just randomly went. I'm gonna go swim with the sharks and jumped off the boat. No, you fucking don't do that. That's stupid. That's not logical. So it didn't bother me. But that. That was a big contention. Like a lot of people, like I don't like it. I can't, I can't jump off my boat and go swim in the water. I can't believe that black flag allowed me to swim in the water and hunt sharks. I I don't like the fact I was restricted to what islands I could dock at. Keep in mind, there's a space game, Stellar. We run the name. There's a space game that's all the fucking planets and galaxies and universes, and you can only visit about nine percent. Of the planets and no one bitch or complain about that but skull and bones it just they didn't progress any further past beta like everything i could do in beta is what was released and i played it for like six months waiting and waiting and waiting for all these promises and shit and just nothing happened nothing as much as they built that game up too this was supposed to be a big a big thing five fucking years it's been it's going to come out this year. Oh, we're pulling it because of whatever ha- COVID happened. And then it's like, oh, we're going to release it into 2020. Uh, we can't do that. Let's do a stress test in 2021. I did a stress test. Let's do another stress test into 2021, beginning of 2022. I was part of it. Another one at the end of 2022. Let's do an alpha test, 2023. Let's do a beta test, 2023. Let's do one last uh, beta stress test into 20. Uh, in the summer of 2023, right before they released Skull and Bones in the fall. 
and there's like nothing fucking changed. I still loved it. I enjoyed it. I did everything I could. I was like, okay. What now? There's only so many times I can battle a ship and go, cool. Awesome. Love it. Fantastic. I'm so glad. But I also didn't pay for the game, so. That's also when you get to that style of game, that's where you're gonna I mean, it's gonna cap out at that. You're gonna hit that point like, okay, I can only you know and, and they go had, on a ship for so long to fight so many different ships. And they had they had a world of uh of promises of like this is what's coming by the end of 2023 beginning of 2024 summer 2024 and they had this whole groundwork laid out it's like, promise the world they didn't even come close to touching an island on that world it was just it was so astronomically killed so to speak it's, it's unfortunate but i think that's also where internet bullying Kind of did a little too good of a job that people mm. bitching and moaning comparing it to Black Flag. And literally, that fucking the contention of water, swimming in water, was something I saw from streamers and critics and reviewers. I'm like, you guys are so stupid. That's not oh, yeah, that's what they that's what a lot of people want because they get there's not a lot of people that can stick with just that same style of play. I'm just on the boat all the time. They want to be able to, to branch out and do more. But yes, I, there is a... I get it. I get it. Because keep I, in mind, what the hell is it? These are the same people that when Black Flag came out, were pissing them over that they kept dying to crocodiles and sharks in the water. It's too hard. There's too many. Stay out of the water? Yeah. And that's what they did. And then, you know, Skull Mold came out. Well, you know, there's a lot of sharks and crocodiles in the water and things that can kill you. We're just gonna make it so we can't swim. I want to swim. Something. It's always something. But I mean, there are people that can sit and they can do that game for you know hours on end, weeks on end, and streaming it and everything else. Same with uh, what the hell the one that's uh, I did that I streamed for a short period of time where you could fly a plane, boats, and tanks. I can't remember what the hell it was called. I did that one for a little while too, and it, it, there's a whole nother, whole nother following. It's not in that style. Hammer. No, it's, it's, it's something. Game. It's something. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, there's a whole nother community for that. I, I dabbled in that one, and I, I got a lot of people watching that one, but I was like, I can't, I can't do this game. Like, I can't. World of I tanks. can't fly the planes. It might be it. Yeah, the tanks were all I could do. I couldn't do the ships. That that just that bugged me. It was way too slow, and obviously being on a controller, trying to fly the plane sucked because it wasn't. It didn't work, so I was stuck with tanks, and I didn't didn't get into it as much. But yeah, I was. I saw I was trying to do multiple different games because someone was trying to convince me to be a multi streamer. I was like, ah, oh, just stick to Warzone. Shoot, corrupt me with your your bad ways. I don't. Remember. Yeah, I was too. I don't remember that. Yeah. I remember seeing you. That was when I was game. first streaming. You tried to corrupt me. <laughs> Try. I was simply <laughs> pointing out the fact you could reach a larger audience doing multi-streaming. Yes. And it's, was... it's very well proven that you can. I just couldn't do it. Not with that. Not with that game. I couldn't do it. That's a, I never got into it. I tried. That bored me too quickly. Way too quickly. Yeah. No, I mean, so no. it's definitely interesting. Wrap it all up. It's definitely interesting that, like, we're we're at we're at the bubble burst point, as I was saying earlier. I, I mm-hmm. firmly believe that's where we're at right now. Even indie games or not, I think the AAA and AA game industry is going to bust. And we've already seen it. Tons of studios are being canceled and and shut down completely. COVID's kind of to blame for that because that was the the big boom in the gaming industry. Mm-hmm. Everybody's at home. Everybody's playing games. Everybody's streaming. So you had all these big companies, even like Microsoft, absorbing smaller ones and absorbing them. But we're at the bursting point because nothing's changing. Nothing's evolving. Sure, we're getting Black Ops 6 here in like two months. 
But what's really going to be different in Black Ops 6? Not much. No, I mean, Call of Duty's got it pretty easy because they can just easily build on the other games, the games that they have. They just throw a number behind another another Black Ops or another Modern Warfare. And that's the thing. Is that, like, it's, it's purely a name. That's it. Yeah. It's the franchise yeah. name of going, ah, oh, no, it's shit. I'm not going to get it two weeks after the game. That, God damn it, I got it. I'm I'll get play it. with my friends. Guarantee I'll get it. Game Pass. Don't have that, but I will. I will. I will buy it until, like I always say, until they start to get stupid futuristic. That's where I stop. Even though and we see once them, that happens, oh, yes, I'm gonna go off fucking subject with this one because just know they're bringing back advanced warfare into the game already. We already see it with the weapons. They've already said they're going to bring out game modes and special things inside of Warzone. Like they did with the soups from the boys, they're gonna they're gonna try at some point. We're gonna have operators again with special abilities. So it's kind and of it already got shit on. The the boys are there, but that game mode got shit on. It always does horribly. But you know what they do? They go, hey hey hey, just remember, King Kong versus Godzilla. Was it really that shitty, or was King Kong and Godzilla worse? Like ah. Yeah, that was worse. I guess we'll sit down. I, yeah, but the thing is that that game mode you could play constantly. That boys one, that thing uh, sucked. Sucked each each time too. Each because I mean we played we played Kong and Godzilla mode many many times. The boys one, twice maybe three times. Uh, if that, maybe we didn't uh, play it very I, much. I, I can think of one. Once. I don't even play it very much at all. But and once, once we get game will suck. That was Warzone One. That's your with you and I. So yeah. Again, I had that. You want to see video clip of that? I may just transfer that from my YouTube two hours and I'll show you guys proof. So you can listen to audio of me going, What are you fuck I can't hear you? I can't hear you. What are you saying? It's not my fault your your in game chat suck. In games, I hate. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's nothing's evolving anymore. We're stagnant, and now we're relying on. I, I love seeing it too. I love seeing the evolution of like indie games introducing new features that big games don't have yet, and they're like, oh well, we can't do that because of whatever bullshit cockamamie crap they want to spew. Saying they, oh they can't introduce this. Now we got Omni Movement coming this this fall to black yeah. ops 6 soon to warzone 2 but it, it's interesting because it almost feels like in a span of 20 years so to speak games went just astronomically fast they evolved so quickly we're seeing different genres different types different styles different gameplay all together different varieties and it was just boom 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 everywhere multiplayer everywhere co-op everywhere and then we start seeing the death of single player. We start seeing the death of split screen. And now it's, I think, I don't know how much I trust these statistics, but there's ones like it's less than 1% of games have split screen. And they're trying to introduce that again with like Black Ops 6 says they're going to introduce split screen again on the same console. So where people can actively play. Uh, and then you have other games coming out like Halo. Halo Infinite has said they're introducing split screen. It's like cool, you've only been out for a few years and that should have been done earlier, but whatever. But Apex is talking about it. We've we've now killed off such a major aspect of games, like single player games are not dead, but very hard to come by. And the ones you do come by are either complete dog shit or they're just they're okay. Very few are actually. It's, I mean, amazing. it's it's dead. My kids have no idea what that even is. I could yeah. ask them what's what's split screen. Oh, split screen is completely dead. I will agree with that. Um, but it's it's so weird to have seen this evolution of it take place and go to like a reflection moment 
and be like, oh, well, I remember side scrollers and pissing you know, my brother off because he didn't want to help me. So I stayed in one place and said, fucking die. Because now you can't go back. Uh, or you can't go forward because I have to stay back. To now it's just streaming nonsense bullshit at my monitor because somebody can't revive me. Somebody's cheating. Somebody's a twat. They killed me without me seeing them. You know. Well, yeah. Weird shit. Excuse me, I want to give on Thursday nights. So it's weird. <laughs> it's definitely weird, and it's. I'm interested to see how this evolves even further, or if, like Gen Z taking all the millennial and Gen X designs and fashions and trends from days gone by, if we're going to see the same thing with video games, we start going backwards and reintroducing old concepts and old proven methods like split screen and massive Mm -hmm. uh, single player games not like call of duty where it's like there's a single player aspect and multi no a pure god of war single player there is no online i i think we're going to get to that point when the bubble bursts and everybody's like this is fucking stupid this is a waste of, like we're just copying and pasting every year. So what's the point of spending sixty, eighty, ninety dollars on this game when it's literally the same shit, different different band aid over it? Well it shouldn't be that much in, at all when I'm just downloading it. That's also the other like the big point of contention right now is why is a game you can't say sixty dollars, why is the game eighty dollars now? Mm. When it's a hundred dollars for the for the yeah. bonus pack or whatever it's it's digital licensing like it's there is no there is no producing the dvd no producing the game art there's no printing of the game art shipping it transiting um going overseas hitting the shelves hitting like yes that's still a thing mm-hmm. but it's not it's not even close to being a quarter of the overall video game sales I think it's actually less than 10% if we're being real. Okay, Everything is digital. It. So to get a license, and uh, there's a gentleman named Thor that streams and he makes his own video games. And he used to be a hacker. He used to work with uh, or work for Blizzard at the beginning of WoW. And he's even talked about it. It's like, it's game shouldn't be this much. Anymore. It's nothing to, crop, to create a game. It literally costs bare minimum and with people being like well they have to pay their employees microsoft's a multi-billion dollars with the b mm-hmm. company sony is a multi-billion dollar company and the fact that they lay off developers at the end of the game so when a new game gets finished you're like okay you're fired not all studios but unfortunately that is the the trend so well, it was with Sony and Microsoft, video games are not their number one thing at all. Well, I mean, for nowhere Sony, near it is now. Sony's not. No, not for not not video games. Now they're they're bigger for cameras and stuff like that. They're way they're way more into digital digital media, not for just video games. Even my, I mean, Microsoft has has their side of it, but it's not their end all be all. But it's uh, it's one thing for Sony to, to try and do whatever they want when it comes to um, video games. But I think with a lot of their, their products that they put out, it's where they're going to find more. But I don't know how much they actually invest into video game side of things. They can invest more and stop being a bunch of douches. They have invested That'd be more. great. Have they? They to have. Be honest. Let's be honest. But they're not making good sales or good uh, Is that because acquisitions. They have to they have to invest into paying off the fines and court costs that they have to do? Is that what they invest in? <laughs> they're when they get caught in all the stupid shit that they that they're backpedaling now? They're always in a lawsuit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have, I've had PlayStation forever. I'll take a PlayStation over an Xbox every day. Granted, Xbox is going away, but I'll take a PlayStation all day. Uh, technically optical and disc storage is their number one product yes gaming doesn't even make a list because technically they don't have a gaming studio 
they buy studios. Your mouse is so goddamn loud on your side. It's right next to my speaker as well. <laughs> Everybody listen, that's not me, that's him. For once. Nope. But anyways, we gotta wrap this up. We're like fucking 90 minutes into this shit. We can go on and on and we like we'll this we'll just call this part one. Of the evolution of gaming starting with multiplayer. Yeah. Um if you're watching this or if you're listening to this, do know if you want to catch these episodes early or you want to see maybe a live version of it, do know we are live uh, on my TikTok right now, um, Cybermark City. Hit. Stop touching shit. Stop it. I'm going to mute you. You're really loud. You're scraping something. You can watch. You can watch. <laughs> you can watch the lives like it's happening right now um, at tiktok.com forward slash cybermark stick. But go follow us at Two Guys One Gamepad so we can go live over there and stop using my personal slash gaming platform. Be greatly appreciated. So. Otherwise, come check it yeah. out every Thursday night. That's like I'll let him do something for once. Back off of shit. Once. I just proved you wrong with Sony. I think it's enough for tonight. Just check us out. Was like it? Said, there's this. We play Warzone. That's it. That's yeah, until October. Until October. Yeah, we'll see. Until the next one, yeah. Hi, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>